Temperatures are starting out in the low 70s. For a lot of us right now, we're sitting 71 here in Baton Rouge. We're seeing a few in the upper 60s. Thibodeau at 69, New Road 68. We're going to see one or two degrees kind of cool it down before that sunrise. So most of us low 70s and a little bit more upper 60s. What you're probably thinking, it's going to be nice and cool when I step outside. Well, you're going to step outside and you're going to feel that moisture and that humidity. It's not going to be hot and humid to start out our day, but the end of the day is definitely going to be seeing that. As we go into the rest of your morning by 7 o'clock, we're still seeing some low 70s. We're seeing by 9 already hitting 78 and some upper 70s. Starting to see some 80s going in by 10 and 90s by the afternoon. You can see by 1 p.m. we're already hitting 94. And our high temperatures for today are on that warm side. 96 for us in Baton Rouge. 97 out towards Denham Springs. Some mid-90s further north towards our counties in Mississippi and our northern parishes. And it is going to feel even warmer than that. We're going to be watching, of course, our heat index. We're going to be hitting 104. We're just on that threshold for a heated advisory and something you don't want to see to end our summer and some way you don't want to start our fall either because we're going to see these conditions continue into tomorrow as well. So if you're going to be out and about during the heat of the day, you want to take plenty of breaks going through the rest of your Wednesday and Thursday before we see it cool down. We do have quite a bit of some activity out here in the Atlantic. Obviously, we're seeing that Hurricane Fiona is still moving out into the Atlantic, not going to be impacting the United States. We do have a tropical storm Gaston that's out in the Atlantic moving east. But what we're watching is this little area out towards the Caribbean. We're going to be seeing in the next two days 70% chance of seeing development, and a lot of the models are showing it cutting up in towards Cuba. And we'll start to see how it's going to be impacted, if it builds in strength, or if it's going to be just dying down and causing some storms for them. Of course, we're going to watch it for the next several days because for us here, we're just watching summer hold on a little bit longer. 96 today, 97 tomorrow, but you can see Friday, we start to see back to a little bit more normal with those mid-90s, but heat indexes still something to watch for. Hitting triple digits and going to be a warm end to your day again. Starting out in those low 70s, ending in the mid-90s, heat indexes hitting triple digits. Drink plenty of water if you're going to be out and about for the next couple of days, even for the first official start of fall on Thursday. Then we go into the weekend. We're seeing some low 90s return and some isolated rain chances as well. Not a lot of people out there just yet on our roadways, but we're seeing it's moving nicely for those that are out there. We can see that all the way from the bridge through town, hit that split. We're seeing 10 and 12 also looking pretty nice, but we'll keep you updated as we go through the rest of the morning as more people get up and are headed into 